These teenagers in this cooking class are involved with the Down Syndrome Association of Central Kentucky, known as DSAC. The group approached Jackie DeNegra in the Fayette County Cooperative Extension Services Nutrition Education Program. Here's what I want you to do. You shredded my cheese before. About working with the teens in a cooking class. She reluctantly at first said yes because she had no experience working with the group. When I first started, I was kind of panicky because I was like, I've never worked with Down syndrome children. I don't know. But I went in, they were middle school, treated them like middle school kids. I gave them the knives and said, we're going to chop and went off from there, took off from there. The knives Denegra gave them are called chef's kid knives, which are plastic with a serrated edge. They might not cut you, but they are still sharp. They also used special mixing spoons, but everything else was the same. And so I, I treat these no different, and it's and just the chopping and to see them concentrate and get down and first I tell them, you know, they'll chop big and we just work and work and work until we get it down. And they love it. In this class, the students were chopping peppers and onions to make colorful vegetable quesadillas, which required a lot of chopping, cheese grating, and putting the contents inside a tortilla topped with cream cheese and heated on a hot plate. For 15-year-old Sam Elbert and his mom, Courtney, she said the class has empowered Sam in the kitchen. I think it, it's fun for us to do together and I think it's helping develop his independence down the road. It helps me realize he can do a lot in the kitchen if I step back and let him or kind of give him guidance when he needs it. What are some of the healthy things that we've learned to eat, especially? Fruit. Fruits? Yeah. Fruits. And vegetables. The class has helped all of the students gain confidence in the kitchen and the parents have learned to take a step back and let their children do things on their own while developing lasting bonds as a group. When I first started working with them, I was afraid. I didn't know what to expect, and I was like treating them like, oh, <laughs> I was really scared. Um, but now, love them. It, it's so rewarding. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.